Fossil records, archaeology and genetic DNA studies of the living races support Charles Darwin's insight that we evolved in Africa. Humans then spread to the Middle East, Europe, Asia, Australia and then to the Americas. As humans left Africa, their bodies, brains and behaviour changed. True, all humans are brothers and sisters, but we all know that brothers and sisters can still be very different from one another. In both everyday life and evolutionary biology, a black is anyone most of whose ancestors were born in sub-Saharan Africa. A white is anyone most of whose ancestors were born in Europe. And an oriental is anyone most of whose ancestors were born in East Asia. Modern DNA studies give pretty much the same results. The environment of Eurasia produced physical differences between the races. Northern Europe's cloudiness meant less sunshine. This decreased the intake of vitamin D. So lighter skin and hair were needed to let more sunlight get in. As a result, Europeans born with lighter skin and hair were healthier. They had more chance of having children who would survive and reproduce. East Asia was even colder than North Europe, but with less cloud cover and more sunlight. There, a thicker layer of fat helped to insulate against the cold. This gives many Orientals a so-called yellow complexion, because it reduces the visibility of red blood vessels close to the skin. Meanwhile, in Africa, melanin gives the skin a black colour to protect it from the scorching rays of the sun. But race is more than just skin deep. Coroners in crime labs can identify race from a skeleton or even just the skull. They can identify race from blood, hair or semen as well. The pattern of oriental white black differences is found across history, geographic boundaries and political economic systems. Of course, there are subdivisions within the three major races. The Oriental group can be subdivided into Northeast Asians, such as the Chinese, Japanese and Koreans, and the Southeast Asians. Black and white groups can also be subdivided in the same way. Nevertheless, simplified three-way division serves a purpose. In science, a concept is useful if it groups facts so that general laws and conclusions can be drawn from them. The three-way classification is scientifically justified because it shows a consistent pattern for many different traits, with orientals at one end, blacks at the other, and whites in between. R to K life history theory, a basic principle of modern evolutionary biology, explains the three-way pattern. Every species of plant or animal can be placed on the R to K scale. The R end of the scale means having more offspring, maturing earlier, having smaller brains, and providing less parental care. The K end of the scale means having fewer offspring, maturing later, having larger brains, and providing more parental care. Humans are the most K species of all. Among humans, Orientals are the most K, Blacks the most R, and Whites fall in between. Africa is warmer than the northern continents, but it is a less stable habitat. Droughts, storms, and diseases from viruses, bacteria, and parasites cause high death rates even today. Without modern medical care, ensuring survival in Africa means having many young. Our strategy. In the more stable environments of Europe and Asia, survival is ensured from having fewer young but caring for them very well. K strategy. In Africa, 
food and warmth were available all year round. But to deal with the colder winters and scarcer food supply of Europe and Northeast Asia, the Oriental and white races moved away from an R strategy toward the K strategy. This meant more parenting and social organization, which required a larger brain size. The three way pattern of race differences is true for growth rates, lifespan, personality, family functioning, criminality, and success in social organization. Black babies mature faster than white babies. Oriental babies mature slower than whites. The same pattern is true for sexual maturity, out-of-wedlock births, and even child abuse. Around the world, blacks have the highest crime rate, orientals the least, whites fall in between. The same pattern is true for personality. Blacks are the most outgoing and even have the highest self-esteem. Orientals are the most willing to delay gratification. Whites fall in between. Blacks die earliest, whites next, orientals last, even when all have good medical care. The three-way racial pattern holds up from cradle to grave. 